ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I have something very special for you. It's going to be the Asus Turbo GTX 1060 going up against the Asus Turbo GTX 1070. So a 1060 versus 1070 Showdown on the exact same coolest, the exact same model of card. So that should be uh, very interesting. But first, I just got to do a bit of a shout out to uh, Ryan from Scotland uh, for making my new channel art. Uh, which you can go and have a look at uh, looks really really awesome so uh, thank you Ryan so much that's uh, really great that you helped me out there uh, another thing I have to add uh, very quickly is that I have added a new benchmark so we'll talk about this a bit more once we get to it but uh, it is the uh, Deus Ex um, Mankind Divided benchmark However, I was hoping that they would have put in DirectX 12 support for me being able to do this video, but uh, as of right now, they have not. So it will be at DirectX 11 uh, on its ultra preset. So it should still give you a good idea and it's a good benchmark to throw in there also. Well, let's jump straight into the showdown then. So uh, you will be able to tell the difference between these two graphics cards if you look because uh, obviously the 1070 has SLI fingers whereas the 1060 does not and also the 1070 has a 4-pin uh, power connector where the uh, 1060 only has a 6-pin. But they also have a completely different GPUs, well somewhat different, they're both Pascal but the uh, 1060 has the 16nm uh, GP106 GPU and the 1070 has the GP104 Pascal uh, GPU. So that means you get 1280 CUDA cores on the 1060 and 1920 on the 1070, so a bit more there. Now, uh, speeds wise, they were exactly the same. I'm not kidding, I've never ever seen this before in all the showdowns I've done over the years. They had exactly the same boost clock, which was 1911 megahertz. So make of that what you will, but yeah, so there, you know, it's, this is going to be the most consistent. Uh, comparison I think you're probably going to see the most accurate comparison same model same speeds you know there you go uh, so yeah they're ex the exact same speeds now memory wise so on the 1060 you're getting six gigabytes of GDDR5 memory at 8,000 megahertz on a 192 bit bus and on the 1070 you're getting eight gigabytes so two two gigabytes more uh, of GDDR5 at 8000 megahertz, so the same speed, but also it's on a 256 bit bus, so a bit of a wider bus there, a bit more bus width. So, yeah, coolers, we talked about this in the unboxing and overview videos for these two cards, so uh, I would go back and watch that if you want to see you know, me talk about the coolers and, and all the features and more details. But a basic rundown. Uh, it's a blow star cooler, so it sucks in from this side and exhausts it out the rear of the case here, which is really good for people that have uh, cases with bad airflow or just small cases in general. So that's pretty good. Both the cards come with uh, dual HDMI ports, which is going to be good for people running uh, VR, and they have upgraded components and a few other things. Nice, no back plates, but you know, uh, it'll look very tidy. But yeah, I would uh, you know go and watch the unboxing and overview videos if you want to know everything more and more uh, about these cards in more detail. So now let's talk about the benchmarks then without further ado. So yeah, we're going to be running uh, just a single synthetic this time. I usually run 3D Mark, but I wanted to put more games in. So we're just going to be running the Heaven benchmark for our synthetic and all the rest will be games. And I know my benchmarks have been a little bit all over the place lately and uh, I'm working to get down a, a lot that I will consistently use for probably the next uh, few months going forward because I like having all my benchmarks consistent through the different showdowns so then people can just go between my videos and sort of see the difference between the cards that way also. Without further ado, let's jump into it and see how these cards perform.
So we're seeing quite a big performance difference there. It's about, uh, it averages out to be about 20 frames better for the uh, 1070 um, over the 1060. And that's pretty much what we would be expecting. Uh, so yeah, they're at the same speeds and they're running the same cooler. So it's about as accurate as you're ever gonna get. But the 1070 comes out on top by about 20 frames per second average through all the resolutions and all the benchmarks that I did. Now let's talk about temperatures then. So performances and everything, how did they do temperatures wise since they're running the exact same cooler? And this was actually uh, quite interesting. So I did this in the Unigen Valley benchmark on the Extreme HD preset. The GTX 1060 went up to 71 degrees Celsius and that was at 43% fan speed. And the 1070 went up to 77 degrees Celsius at 49% fan speed. So we can see that the 1060 is the clear winner there in temperatures. That is something that I think is pretty obvious um, given the TDPs. But uh, yeah, so when there for the uh, 1060, it runs cooler and at a lower fan speed than the 1070, but not as big of a discrepancy as I think maybe a lot of people think there are between these two GPUs. Now let's talk about noise then. So is this cooler quite noisy? Well, blower coolers generally are a little bit more noisy than their, uh, yeah, this is considered a non-reference card, but you know what I mean, like a proper non-reference card with, um, a open style cooler with you know dual or triple fans will usually be uh, quite a bit quieter than a single fan blower design however i'll always let you guys judge for yourself and it was actually quite close but the 1060 is just a teeny bit quieter than the 1070 but again this was done during the uh, unigen valley benchmark on the extreme hd preset i'll show you what the 1060 sounds like first and then we'll go and look at what the 1070 sounds like So yeah, it's probably gonna be very difficult for you guys to tell the difference between them, unless I guess you turn up your speakers really, really high. But uh, just take it from me, the 1060 will be slightly quieter, but this that's no reason to purchase, say, the 1060 over the 1070 in regards of this showdown, because they are so close that any normal person probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference, uh, especially if they weren't listening to them back to back like I just showed you. So uh, yeah, for for you know, the sake of the showdown, yeah, the 1060 wins in noise, but for all intents and purposes, you probably won't be able to tell the difference if you actually buy uh, either of these graphics cards. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and what do I make of the 1060 Turbo and the 1070 Turbo? So I thought I would put some you know math out there for you guys, so I decided to calculate uh, the uh, average cost per frame. So the price right now, for the 1060 over at Playtech is $479. That's what it is normally, but it might be on special right now. And the average FPS it got through all of my benchmarks was a 47.6 average FPS, which means it gets uh, $10.06 per frame. So that's how much it costs per frame for the 1060, $10.06. Now, the 1070, on the other hand, is coming with a bit of a higher price there. So over on Playtech, right now, it's coming in at $729 normally, although it might go a bit lower if it's on special. And it's coming with an average FPS of 68.2, so about 20 higher than the uh, 1060, which means, in terms of uh, dollars per frame, it comes in at $10.60 per frame for the uh, 1070. So that's quite interesting there. Um, so it's, you know, what's that? 54 cents uh, more expensive per frame that uh, on the 1070 than the 1060. So that's you know basically all you need to know is that if you really really want to get down to it, uh, price to performance wise, the 1060 does win, and this is going to be the most sort of accurate. Uh, showdown you could ever do with them being at the same speed and running the exact same coolers So yeah, if you're someone that's really really about um, You know value for money and price to performance then 
it's obvious then that the uh, 1060 will give you uh, better price to performance. However, the 1070 is very, very close. And it, mean, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy the 1070 because there's people out there that are willing to pay a bit more just for the extra performance. You'll see with graphics cards, you'll have sort of the, the mid-tier card will be the best value for money in terms of it gets the most amount of frames for the dollar. But that doesn't mean the cards above it, like the 1070 and the 1080, have no place in the market because they still do. It's just diminishing returns. You will get that extra performance like we showed. You'll get about a 20 FPS average bump up if you go to the 1070. It just doesn't work out as cost effective as you keep going higher up. But there's people out there that don't care about being cost effective. They're just like, oh, the 1060 isn't powerful enough for me. Uh, I want to go to the 1070 and in which case, uh, you know, this 1070 still also did a really good job and it is quite a bit cheaper than many of the other ones out there. So the 1070 still definitely has a place. But in terms of this showdown, um, we probably just have to give it to the 1060 as it is the uh, better sort of value for money graphics card. But both of them are absolutely excellent graphics cards uh, for the price. They're quite a budget uh, model. So, you know, they're not going to have all the bells and whistles of other models but they still do a very good job. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.